This is Jamie Romero with Learn by the Byte. Welcome to Learn to Program with Java. Hi folks, this is Jamie Romero with Learn by the Byte. And before we get started with the course, I wanted to give you an idea as to what you're going to be seeing in this course. Uh, th this is a Learn to Program with Java course. And so if we make our way down to uh, what are the requirements, well, this is, this is going to be for, for anyone who's a beginner. So we need you to have basic typing skills, and you'll have to be comfortable with your file system. Uh, comfortable like creating files, removing files, uh, like unzipping a zip file. That's something that you'll do in the setup. So there are some basic re uh, requirements there. But this is a, a first course in programming. So as long as you have some basic computer skills, you should be successful. Also, if you're already a programmer, so maybe you've done a little programming before, um, I don't know, this might be a little too elementary for you. If you've already done some C or some uh, maybe COBOL or uh, some other language, we have another course called Introduction to Java Programming. That might be more appropriate if, if you're already a programmer to begin with. But if you're a beginner, this is the course for you. Uh, so what are you going to get out of this course? Well, there's a bunch of lectures, over 80 lectures, more than seven hours. And um, you know, by the end of the course, you should be able to explain what computer programs are and what computer programming is all about. So we'll have just the introductory foundational uh, content that'll give you that, uh, that information. You should be able to discuss the terminology and concepts of computer programming. So terminology like a compiler, for example. Uh, you'll learn about uh, ex executing a Java program. You'll learn about bits and bytes, about data types and variables. Uh, you'll be able to write and compile simple programs. So we want you to be able to type some stuff in, uh, compile it, meaning convert it into the machine language, and also run those programs. Uh, you should be able to describe the basic computer language data types. In our case, we're using Java, so there's some built-in types like uh, a floating point numbers, float and double, or integer whole numbers like int, shorts, long, and byte. Uh, we'll also have string data type, where you have a number, number of characters all strung together. Uh, by the end of the course, you should be able to interact with computer programs using your terminal screen and keyboard. So you'll be able to read information that's typed in on the keyboard and display results to the screen. And you'll also be able to evaluate expressions used in computer programs. So here we're getting at uh, doing things like adding and subtracting, uh, less thans, greater thans, those kinds of things. So those are what we call the objectives of this course. What, of this course. what are you going to get out of it? Uh, maybe to be a little more specific, I can scroll my way down to uh, the sections here. We're in the course overview section right now. Part of what you'll be doing uh, shortly is you'll uh, download your student files if you haven't already done so, and you'll set up your systems. Uh, then we move on to section two, basic concepts and definitions. In that section, we're going to be having you type in what we call a Hello World program. That's the typical first program, just something very simple that we can explain. We can show you how to compile your program. So we'll talk about using the compiler, show you how to run the program. And um, at the end of every chapter, we have some review questions that you'll need to ponder and definitely exercises. That's one of the maybe the more unique things that you're going to get from a course like this is that we're going to have labs. We're going to have you exp uh, experimenting on your own, challenging you to see if you really understand the concepts that we talked about. I probably should have mentioned this course is based upon an instructor-led training course, so something that, that's taught to corporations. Uh, we've gone ahead and packaged it as a video, and so now just the individual can get a hold of this world-class training, but now at, at a decent price, at a reasonable price, and on your own time in a video format. What else? Section three. By the end of se or what are we covering? Section three. We're going to be learning how to write simple programs. So we'll have you type something up in section two. Just type something in. Now it's going to be more about. Um, well, still typing something in, but more details. Uh, so for example, we'll talk a little bit about reading information in, doing some calculations, performing some output. That's stuff you do all the time in programming. We'll also introduce you to a little bit of decision making and a little bit of iteration. So some if statements and some loops. Uh, there's another set of videos that's going to go deeper into that, a, a part two of this course, but just, just getting you a, a, a start there. Again, there's exercises at the end of, of section three. 
Section four, uh, very important to programming, we need to learn about data types and variables. So um, we'll talk about computer memory, we'll talk about bits and bytes, we're going to talk about declaring a variable to be a specific type. We'll find that variables store information, store data. And in Java, we need to tell the system what kind of data can be stored in a variable. So for example, is it like a number or is it like a character? So what kind of data can we store inside of there? We're also going to look section five, screen output, keyboard input. Uh, this is something we would have touched on earlier, but now we'll talk a little bit more about prompting the user for information, gathering data that uh, they've typed in on their keyboard. And also, we'll talk about uh, output, so displaying uh, the output to your screen, maybe formatting it a little bit. Like most of the chapters, there's review questions, there's definitely exercises there. And then our final section is on expressions. Here we're going to be looking into oh maybe stuff like arithmetic expressions so add subtract multiply divide we'll talk about relational expressions so less than's greater than's not equal to equal to talk about ands and ors so logical expressions um, by the time we're done with that chapter we can do some pretty interesting programs and so as you can see there's a bunch of exercises uh, we're gonna have looks like 10 at least 10 exercises to challenge you with Another unique thing about our classes is that not only do we have you work on labs, but we also review those labs with you. So I'll be recorded up typing in uh, my solution to any of these exercises. Of course, we want you to try it on your own, but sometimes it's good to see how someone else did it. Or if you get stuck, maybe you can watch how I did it. So uh, that particular section has a bunch of exercises. We wrap up with a course summary. So at the very end, we'll just talk about, you know, what did we learn and maybe what's your next step? Uh, like I mentioned, there's actually a, a part two of this course uh, that you can get that'll go deeper into things like if statements, loops, writing methods, uh, writing and reading files, working with arrays and collections. So lots of good stuff coming in the, in the uh, follow-on course as well. Uh, so that's, uh, that's uh, an idea, at least, of what this course is all about. Learn to program with Java for complete beginners, part one. This is Jamie Romero with Learn by the Byte. Uh, please stick with us. Work on that setup next. And before long, you'll be learning how to program with Java.